Today I wanted to give you a little overview of some of the different embroidery flosses that are out there. So if you are new to this craft, you'll have a sense of what you can look for when you are shopping around. This is one of the most common flosses. This is six strand embroidery floss. Um, it is 100% cotton, although there are other variations that are synthetic made of uh, rayon, which can have a, a sheen to it. The reason why it is called six strand is because it is made of six strands. And so you can split this. You can use one strand, two strands, all six, and it will give you your stitches um, a different um, heaviness depending on how thick you want them to be. This is pearl cotton. Now this is two pieces of thread that are basically twisted together. This happens to be a variegated variety. Um, you cannot split those two pieces apart. It will destroy the thread, but this is nice for a decorative stitch. I especially like to use this with the stem stitch. Uh, really nice with um, flowers and other plant patterns. It can come in a spool like this or wrapped up. And you'll see this number five that actually denotes the um, width of the thread. So the higher the number, for example, eight, would actually mean a thinner strand. It's just the opposite of what it sounds like. This is a specialty thread. This is actually, um, I don't think that you can find this in the United States. I found this in a vintage shop. I don't know if DMC still makes this, but you can find it in other places by other manufacturers. This is actually cruel uh, wool floss. So the reason why it has this um, fuzzy sort of texture is because it is 100% wool. And this is often seen in some vintage applications, but it's really pretty if you can find some. Um, I think Pearl Soho actually might sell some, so you could check them out. So that just gives you a, just a quick sense of some of the different threads that are out there. Experiment with them and see what you like. 